Uh, great tune by Keith Urban. You know, there's this local run dairy farm right here in Arizona with a lot of history. In fact, they were the first local dairy to offer glass bottles to grocery stores. We're talking about it's Dan Zeisen. Zeisen. This one I always get Both wrong. Both sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check in with JV. She's there. She's going to be able to tell us. And she's also going to be able to tell us how they make all that delicious milk. Yeah. Let's practice it together. I need it. Dan Dan Sizen. Dan Sizen. Sizen. Yes. Dan Sizen. Is guys, is there anything <laughs> behind me? Uh <laughs> Yeah. I've been learning to communicate. This one right here. Moo. Moo. <laughs> Just like a politician. No comment. Well, let's introduce you to Kevin Dan Sizen. He is the general manager here and a third generation with the family because this family business started uh, way back in the 1950s. Tell me a little bit about this. So, yeah, my grandpa moved here from California in the late 50s, rented a dairy up in Glendale for 10 years. And in the, in the late 60s, built this facility, which we still operate today. So you'd come out here. You said you'd kind of squish around here looking for what? Looking, well, when I was a kid, kid, yeah, I was barefoot and looked for the cow patties that squished my foot in there. The way a young boy would. <laughs> but then you went on to study in college. For this. Yeah, I've always loved cows. I always want to learn about cows. So I even learned, I got an animal science degree and, and emphasis on dairy. And I always wanted to know more and more about cows, and I get to do what I always love to do. So tell me about what happens here on this dairy farm. How many cows do you have? Uh, what's the process like every day? So there's about a thousand cows on this facility. They get milked three times a day. They go to the barn every eight hours. They love routine. Cows love to do the same thing every day. If we don't get them in the barn when uh, within that eight hours, they're at the gate just ready to go. Oh, really? And we feed them two times a day. and. And yeah, everything needs to be on a routine. And they also wear a, a Fitbit of sorts. Tell me about that. Yeah, we have a pedometer on each cow, and that way we can keep track of every step that they take. And from that information, we can get all kinds. We can we can learn more and more about what's going on. And let's take a little walk here because you have two special guests for me. Yeah. But tell me about the cows. Do they have personalities? Obviously, this one was playing games with me. Uh, tell me about their personalities. Yeah, I mean, everyone's different, but yet they are a herd animal, so they all want to, like, hang out together. Uh -huh. um, so they all do the same things. They're just a all a little bit different. They're all a little bit different. So we're going to meet your mom uh, coming up in the 9 o'clock hour because she grew up in the business as well, her family's business. Uh, tell me about being part of such a long-running family business. Well, it's, it's an honor because I'm one of 52 grandkids, and so... Um, for, for me to be able to be out here every single day and taking care of cows when I love is, is an absolute honor. And, and having uh, and working with our family is so much fun, too. So. Okay, and especially when you've got cute little things like this. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's part you of you know, theory. live animals and uh, children, they'll always steal the show from you. <laughs> so I heard that this uh, little white one right here was Henri. So I said, we should name this one Jamie because, you know, <laughs> I like to behave oh. all the time. Oh, 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 no. We've got a renegade. We've got a renegade. So um, we were going to kindly feed them, but obviously there's a, there's a cow on the loose in Levine. Cow on the loose in Levine. <laughs> Quick, I told fly you the sorry. chopper. <laughs> hey, gross, gross. All right, we'll see you guys at 9. We're going to go to the creamery next and talk about how we uh, uh, turn this into beautiful milk. I love that. Thank um, you, Jamie. Guessing. Jamie didn't grow up on a farm. <laughs>